miscellaneous calls attended, you've got only three calls for drugs all summer. So I think that it's a waste of time. And you know, when you've got 63 counts for alcohol and thanks, Josh. I'm going to get you to wrap it up. I, okay. I should have told um, you it's two minutes. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I just wanted to put it on the record that as a citizen, I don't think that we should do that. Thank you. We appreciate your input, and that's what the process is. That's where the process is now. It's it's getting gathering input. So thank you. Thank you. Are there other members of the public? Yeah. Thank um, you. My name is Ryan Nelson, and I live at 948 Swan Road. And I brought a couple of props with me today. So if you're planning on banning the uh, sale of bombs, this is a gravity bomb. It costs about 20 cents to make. So if, if you like to find more of these things lying around in your community, then I suggest you allow people to buy something that's actually worth money that they're not going to want to throw away like that. Right? A glass bomb costs $20 or $30. Usually people keep it inside the side of their house. And that's where they use it. So uh, unless if you want to find like you know aluminum pop cans and stuff, and, and it's less healthy for people to consume their product that way. Um, and I suggest uh, not dictating to these businesses what legal products that they can sell. Uh, I believe that they have the right to sell any legal product uh, that's available on the market. Um, furthermore, if you're going to ban glass bombs, I think you should ban uh, aluminum tin foil, uh, pop bottles water, because you need water for a bomb, right? And uh, uh, finally, just to uh, summarize things up, okay, I am a card-carrying member of the CBC. I use marijuana for medical reasons. And uh, uh, I've also noticed that there's this uh, 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 talk about uh, banning a certain mascot that's dressed up in the bar. And I can assure you that if you guys ban that mascot, I'm going to be a I'm going to ask you. That's not I'm within the business by law. I'm, I'm going to be assembling a bunch of paper mache bomb costumes, and I'm going to be walking around here with my house just to make the point. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Good evening. Question to you. I live on the spine on the road. I brought a few props to my favorite, I went up in two seconds before I came down here. That is drug paraphernalia because it made a carrot pipe. You can smoke anything in that pipe. It's like a corn cob pipe. Uh, for scissors, drug paraphernalia. You're cutting up the tinfoil. Put in this little carrot pipe. Apple. Oh, flavorful pipe. Use this drug paraphernalia again. Do the same thing with the apple. Just give it a carrot. You got a pipe. So, uh, trying to to regulate what people sell in their own stores is not the purview of this council, because they're selling what is legal. Just because somebody decides that oh they're bad, they're going to corrupt our children. It's great. Just what every state in the United States is legalizing marijuana. So are we going to take a step back into the 16th century and outlaw? Uh, outlaw just, you know, stuff like this. Uh, as the previous uh, uh, fellow mentioned, you can buy damn water. You know, so let's, let's be reasonable and uh, use uh, our critical thinking on this matter. Thank you, Justin. Are there other members of the public that wish to speak? Please come forward. <laughs> Now my name is Keith Paulsby and uh, Fly Street on Perry Street over in West Bay. And um, your worship members of the council. Um, I've been in this final for uh, over 10 years and I'd like to be here in, well in my senior years. And I'd like to speak about development in general and the triangle lines of West Bay in specific because it kind of everything applies to all areas. I'm physically in more closer to triangle lines, so that's why I'm focused there. Um, when I say Highlands or Langford or Cook Street Village, they all bring an image to mind. And I'm just thinking long term, what image do we want locals and tourists to have of Esquimalt in the future? Um, I've read a great deal through the current OCD, and I see, and I see, I do see plans, but I see a deeper, updated vision of, of a holistic vision of what we want to present forward to, to the region, to the world. And um, I see this. Uh, well, there's at least there's four large developments. You did various different uh, stages of the process: the county, the Legion lands. The Swamo 